this morning will be an interesting morning. It's very windy, as you can tell. Yet, I have to put another level on the beehive. Because if I don't, there will not be enough room for them to store their honey. And if they don't have enough room to store their honey, two things may happen. One, they may die. Or two, they may abscond, leave the hive in search of a, of a bigger home. And neither of those are very good options. That's not what we want. So... I have a, a new floor ready for them. I'm going to get suited up now. Uh, when I brought that over and I was making sure that everything was okay with the frames, uh, they were coming and bunking me on the head saying, get out of our path, get out of our path. So um, <clears throat> I'm gonna get hooded up for this one. Because if you don't listen to them when they bunk you on the head, which is a very, very nice warning saying, hey, we're gonna sting you if you don't leave. Um, so I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just, you know what? I will show you a different one. All right, here's a different one. This is what a level looks like, okay? This is what it looks like. It's just a simple, simple square. And I have these frames in it. <gasps> what? No honeycomb. Oh no, what are you gonna do? Um, sometimes I put fresh honeycomb in and sometimes I don't. It all depends on what is easier for you and it also depends on how many flowers are out, how much the honey, how strong the honey flow is, how much help do the bees need. These are wild bees. They're pretty strong and, um, I find that the bees are happier when they make their own comb. I'm, I'm not a comb expert. I'm just telling you from my experience. Okay, when you harvest the honey, yes, you're destroying the comb when it is, when they build the comb themselves. Okay, so what? So I'm destroying the, the wax, the comb when I'm harvesting the honey. All right, so, I mean, I use the wax anyway for other things. Uh, I don't... I generally don't like to reuse the wax because it gets dirty and and tends to uh, um, uh, harbor diseases, etc., etc. In the wild, yeah, they reuse their comb to a certain extent. They're not just constantly reusing, reusing, reusing because at some point it turns brown, it turns black, and it gets really yucky. And I don't think that's healthy. Anyway, so this is what I'm going to be adding. I have 10 of these. I'm going to be adding these as a third story. This hive over here already has three stories. Um, and then we have this one can get a second story, the one that's behind this tree. And then this one can get a third story and the one in the back can get a third story. So why is this one only gonna get a second story? This one's only gonna get a second story because the colony is still quite small. It's the, uh, it's the colony that I cut in those trees. So since it's small and I noticed that it's, it's still weak, so I'm not, I'm not uh, gonna give it more room than it needs. Here I am all suited up. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. So I'm going to do this fast. I don't know if you can hear me, but I don't use smoke. And I'm going to do this as quickly as I can.
That's it. Okay, so gotta get my gloves back on. Uh, this one, my back is gonna be to you for some of the video. Apologize for that, but this was the only way I could have a stable camera to show you. Uh, the other, uh, the other hive, I had uh, a feeder board on top. This one's just a regular board, and I haven't done anything but take off the rain cover and the um, and the telescopic lid. And these guys are already in a huff of mess. They're not happy. Wow. Okay, remember I told you that these guys moved in on their own? Remember? Remember I told you that? This is the first time I'm opening it since then. Get a load of that hive. Can you see that? Isn't that amazing? And they're just building it down. So since they have an irregular hive, they're probably just going to fill this whole thing. I know, you guys, you're getting very upset at me. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to leave for a minute. All right, I'm actually leaving. I'm going to let them calm down. They're going to follow me here for a little bit. That's all right. Just don't take off my suit for a while. I kind of, you know, brush them off with the... Uh, branches of the trees you know just kind of go someplace else let them forget just a little bit okay in a case like that wow that was so nice I'm gonna go in the shade I cannot take off my hood just yet because there might be one on the back of my jacket or something so I'm just gonna sit over here for a minute Okay, so what happened there? I had not touched that hive, like ever, because remember, it moved in on its own. And that box was cleaned out. Uh, it had some empty frames, just in case. Uh, but what it looks like, they haven't touched those empty frames. Instead, they, are, have just simply created their own um, their own comb and it was beautiful and if you allow them to do that it's just going to uh, keep growing and keep growing and keep growing longer uh, so my putting uh, another frame it, it's attached to the board hold on look I lifted up the board and the honeycomb is hanging from this. So if I want to put in another box, you know, to give it another level, then um, I'll have to remove this all the way, slip in another box, and then put the lid back down again. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that by myself. Um, and I don't think in this case using smoke is going to help because I'm literally just rattling the entire hive. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. You see, this is exactly why we use frames because... I don't hear any buzzing around and it's getting really hot here because they're attached to a lid and I have to lift the lid up and then you place the box. Okay. So if you get that box, it's either you lift up from here or I lift up and you slip in. It's up to you. Which one do you want? Okay, I'm going to do it. They're going to be angry. So I do this one. Oh my lord, my friend. Ah, the things I do for two, my friend. One, two, three, four, five, six. In. 
Yay! Wahoo! We did it! All right. There you go. Their hive is all back together. It's got their rain protection and the bees are saying, please stay away, stay away, stay away. All right. I'm staying away. You see? There it is. Back to normal. Oh, that was exciting. All right. So, listen. What I just did, the uh, beekeeper purist, I guess you would say, would say, oh my goodness, that is not how you deal with a frame that, uh, you know, when they build their own comb, there's a way to do it. You got to get in there. You got to, first off, you got to smoke them, which I really don't like doing. Uh, I find that smoking them gets them upset, like really riled up. So I try to not smoke them. Uh, just collecting my tools, my gloves, and I'm gonna go inside, get my coat off. This bead suit is hot, it's quite hot. Anyway, so um, I, I have plenty of hives to give me honey. I mean, you would think four hives is enough for one family. Um, but this one, I can kind of leave it be and, and, and let's, see, let's see what happens with it. The truth is, they're right. They are completely right, these bee purists. Um, a hive of this type, you cannot go in and check for diseases. You cannot easily collect honey uh, unless you want to destroy the entire, the entire comb. Um, it's hard to keep track of the health of the bees. Uh, it's, it's hard to guide the bees where you want them. There, there are many reasons why the purists are right. Uh, at the same time, I, I want to see how it goes. I mean, I just gave them more space to expand downwards. Um, I, I know that the the queen will finish laying in one area and then she'll move on to a fresh area and then when that area by the time that area is full then the larvae in a previous area are finished and they're hatching and then she goes back to the older area and she reuses those cells and it's a whole process of up and down up and down changing the regions so my idea is I know that they're going to fill this up before they go downwards. But that's okay. That's okay. I think this is just going to be a very, very cool experiment. Oh, but Shoshana, because it's at the top, you're not going to be able to lift up that lid. And it's going to be really hard for you. And okay, well... My question is, is there any reason why I must? There are reasons. Um, if I don't take out the excess honey, uh, like I do in my other hives, then the hive could be attacked by hornets or other bees in the dry season, etc., which means that I have to be extra vigilant about uh, protecting them or close their hole just a little bit, you know, to like really, really small, or, you know, find some way to allow them to protect themselves. And I know that in, um, in nature, they have this problem too. And I'm like, you know what? It's just a really nice experiment. So let's try it. Let's try it and see what happens. You know, because eventually the, the, the queen's gonna get older. There's gonna be a new queen. Eventually the space is gonna get too small. The hive is going to want to split itself, and when they do that, I'll just have another box ready, and chances are they'll move into another box that they find. So, you know, and then from this, I can maybe get a split off of this hive, or not. Let's just see where it goes. I mean, I think that I think it's beautiful. And when all of my neighbors and everybody tells me, yes, yeah, Shoshana, we see the bees everywhere and it's so fantastic and they're, they're pollinating the flowers and it's just so beautiful. I'm like, you know what? Let's just see how this goes because 
I just think it's fun. It's a great hobby. The hives are completed. Yay! They're all ready to grow. Look at that. They're standing tall now. Wow. That's fun. That is quite, quite fun. I love having bees. I absolutely love, love, love having bees. They're such a pleasure to watch. They're such a pleasure to, you know, when you, when the bees are on the flowers, this is why a lot of times in the, in the middle of my videos, I stop and say, look at the bees, look at the bees. They're so distracting and so amazing. I absolutely love them. And uh, oh, they make me happy. Anyway, now that they have plenty of space to grow in, I'm going to say until next time.